she spent seven seasons on the hit TV show Suits before departing her role as paralegal Rachel Zane last year as her engagement to Prince Harry was announced. And Meghan Markle's former co-stars on the critically acclaimed legal drama appear to have remained close with the future princess as they have started arriving in London ahead of her wedding, set to take place at Windsor Castle on Saturday. Gabriel Mack and Rick Hoffman, who shoot their series in Toronto, each took to their Instagram accounts this week to share images of themselves both enjoying the English capital and hinting of travel to the UK ahead of the Big Berkshire Bash. On Wednesday afternoon, 46-year-old Gabriel, who plays formidable star Harvey Specter on the show, uploaded a romantic snapshot of himself nuzzling his wife smiling just Cindy Barrett as they relaxed by the water in Hyde Park. Yesterday number London number Hyde Park today number guess he captioned the picture, which garnered more than 100,000 likes in three hours and attracted a stream of comments from fans who all but guessed that he was in town for the wedding. The actor's wife of 14 years also shared some images of her own from their leisurely excursion at the central London Park which is just a stone's throw away from Meghan and Harry's residence at Kensington Palace. Hanging in Hyde Park. Loving our time in number London, the 45-year-old Australian-born actress wrote beside an image of her and Gabriel hugging as they donned matching sunglasses while gazing out at the scenic views. And in showing that they're getting acquainted with all things regal, Jacinda also uploaded an adorable snap of herself sharing a kiss with her four-year-old son Luca in front of the most well-known royal residence of them all, Buckingham Palace. Also presumably having crossed the Atlantic, Rick Hoffman, who plays the highly strung cat lover Louis Litt on Suits, took to Instagram in the early hours of Wednesday morning to share a video as he prepared to travel east. The 47-year-old actor told fans in the brief clip, just checking in with you, just finishing up my portion of episode 804 and then heading east for some special event, and I'm very excited about that. Meanwhile, Meghan's erstwhile Suits co-star Sarah Rafferty has been posting snapshots of her adventures in Paris this week with her daughter Zuna Gray, 10, and and Iris Friday, 6, from her marriage to Alexandre Ali Pekka Sapala. While she has yet to state her travel plans in the near future, it's not uncommon for transatlantic visitors to the UK to tie in a jaunt to the French capital or other cities on the continent, given the relatively close proximity. Patrick J. Adams, who portrays Meghan's character's love interest and eventual husband Mike Ross on Suits, has so far stayed mum about any possible travel plans on Twitter, as has Wendell Pierce, who plays her father Robert Zane. Dual Hill, who joined the cast as lawyer Alex Williams last year, also hasn't mentioned the wedding on his social media accounts, though he has just returned from his own honeymoon in the Maldives after tying the knot with Psycho star Jasmine Simon. And Gina Torres who departed her role as Jessica Pearson last year, ahead of the recent announcement that she will star in her own spin-off show called Second City will keep fans guessing if she doesn't have any public social media accounts. Meanwhile, Harry and Meghan's rumoured matchmaker Misha Nanu has also touched down in London ahead of the royal wedding on Saturday. The designer, 31, shared a black and white snap of herself in the capital, along with the caption number one in Thago, in reference to her fashion label. Wearing a double-breasted blazer and pleated midi skirt, Misha looked typically chic as she posed for the Instagram picture. Her arrival in London comes as another one of Meghan's girl squad, Jessica Mulroney, was snapped shopping near Kensington Palace after landing in London on Wednesday morning. Kensington Palace has announced that Jessica's children Ivy, 4, and twins Brian and John, both 7, would be among Meghan's bridesmaids and page boys on Saturday. Stylist and brand strategist Jessica, 38, was snapped landing at Heathrow Airport with her husband Ben and their children earlier this morning. In the afternoon, Jessica and daughter Ivy were dropped off near Kensington High Street, fueling speculation that the family, who live in Toronto, could be staying at nearby Kensington Palace ahead of the wedding. Jessica betrayed no hint of jet lag with her fresh-faced appearance and perfectly coiffed hair, 
while her adorable daughter wore the same yellow jacket she arrived in this morning. Jessica once dubbed the Gwyneth Paltrow of Toronto runs a bridal store and is rumored to have helped Meghan design her gown. The palace had previously revealed that Meghan would not be having adult bridesmaids, although both Jessica and Misha had been widely tipped to take on the role. Misha, who was previously married to Prince William and Harry's friend Alexander Gilkes, has had a busy month so far, attending the Met Gala in New York last week. She also hosted a dinner party at the Ivy Chelsea Garden in London at the end of last month to celebrate her clothing collection, although Meghan was nowhere to be seen. Misha, who counts Pip Middleton among her fans, met Meghan years ago after being seated next to one another during a lunch in Miami and was previously credited for setting up Meghan and Harry. In the summer of 2016, Meghan and Misha took a three-week holiday in Europe, encompassing London, Madrid, Mallorca, and Formentera along with an executive from the Soho House group of private members clubs, Marcus Anderson. It was widely believed that the fashion designer took the opportunity to connect Meghan and Harry during that holiday, as she had long been friends with him and Prince William via her then-husband, who was at Eton with them. Meanwhile, Jessica and Meghan's friendship has gone from strength to strength since Meghan, then a young ingenue, moved to Toronto in 2011 to play Rachel Zane in the TV show Suits. The two friends holidayed together in Positano on the Amalfi Coast in August 2016, one of Meghan's last jaunts as a single woman before her engagement. She introduced Meghan to her social circle, which included Canada's First Lady Sophie Gregoire Trudeau the wife of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Jessica formerly known as Jessica Brownstein came from a privileged background as a member of Canada's Brown's Shoes dynasty, worth pounds 50 million. She attended an exclusive all-girls school before studying industrial relations and economics at McGill University. She then launched a business importing lingerie. After a successful career as a stylist with her own TV slot and wedding planner, she was propelled to the A list in 2008 after marrying Brian Mulroney's eldest son. Jessica and Meghan are said to have bonded over a passion for yoga, pilates, dogs, and philanthropy, and Meghan calls herself as Auntie Meg to the children. Meghan and Prince Harry are said to have sought refuge at Jessica's house when news of their relationship broke. Then last September, as engagement speculation grew, Jessica was in a box with Meghan and her mother Doria for the closing ceremony of the Invictus Games. Harry joined them for the final 20 minutes of the show, standing arm in arm with Meghan and planting a kiss on her cheek as they watched Brian Adams sing.